fix it, right? Okay. Hey guys. So I just went to an interview today and I'm kind of pissed off about it. Um, so how many times have you been into, to an interview where there have been 50 other people there all doing the application right there and then? Or well, let me start off with there was a bunch of things wrong with it. But anyways, there was a bunch of people there doing applications and they're pre it is pretty much like a herding call. How many times have you been to a herding call? Now my experience today was that I came in, you know, I had an appointment and they came in but I was still told to do an application and then once I interviewed, it was a five minute interview real quick, you know. Um, they asked me very basic questions like, why do you want the job? Um, told me what the job pays and then whatever. And then at the same time, there was somebody next to me also doing an interview, which kind of pissed me off. It's like, so to the things that pissed me off about this. One, I applied online and whatever, and um, I already did an application. I already did all the things. I did a phone interview. And to my knowledge, I was supposed to meet with only two people today. Um, at a set time period, and there's supposed to be only those two people, and you know I didn't expect for there to be 50 other people all doing the application at the same time. I walked in, I filled in an application. So that's what they told me to do, which is stupid because I already fucking filled out an application online. You should already have my information. That's one thing that tells me your company isn't fucking organized. Two. There's a whole bunch of other fucking people there, all filling out an application. They didn't have to set an appointment. They probably didn't even have a phone call or anything. They just, you know, showed up, heard about it or whatever, showed up and filled out an application there. And because they were doing on-site interviews just like that, um, it didn't fucking matter. So it kind of pissed me off that I took the time to actually set up an interview and whatever. And there's people already fucking going there. No, no um, appointment or anything. And another thing that pisses me off is when I was talking to the recruiter, there was like a cashier position. They never mentioned anything, and I think I even applied only for a cashier position. No, but there was like a stocking position or something like that open. And that was during the nighttime, uh, graveyard shift. I applied more for like a daytime type of thing. Um, mostly because graveyard shifts kind of interfere with the way I want to live my lifestyle, but I guess when you're, you know, when you're needy, and it just doesn't fucking matter anymore, you take whatever you can get. Um, and I'm kind of in between that situation. It's like, yes, I, I need to take whatever I, need, I can get, and no, I don't need to fucking settle for whatever comes my way. No. They basically, what pissed me off is they did a bait and switch. They were like, okay, you know, cashier position, and then when I get to the interview, they were like, stocking position, graveyard shift. And then they didn't go into any detail about the job or anything. And, you know, why, why would you need to? I mean, stocking position, what's that? Okay, uh, they got a few items here. Okay, this goes here, this goes here. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Now, understanding also it's a minimum wage job. Um, and here minimum wage is 825. Nonetheless, though, I mean, that still pisses me off. It's, you know, you got so many other people there, and it's minimum wage. And the way I see it is that, you know, since they're doing a mass herding call, it's like the employees don't fucking matter. You, you know, if you, you say no to the job or whatever, or you just come in, you have no negotiation, nothing. Um, and it doesn't even matter, like, I don't understand why they ask you what skills you have or whatever. Uh, if anything, these sort of interviews should be, just be set up where <laughs> you go set up to a machine or whatever and it takes your pulse and <laughs> they check if you're living or not. It's pretty much what they should do for these type of interviews because it's a herding call. There's so many people that realistically, I don't think they're going to remember every single person that they interviewed because the recruiter told me there were 80 people coming in that day. 
coming in that actually had a, an appointment set. Now, there were also walk-ins. So you have walk-ins plus people who already had an appointment. So really there's probably about 150 people or so, I'm going to guess, that applied for this job. So when you think about it, there's 150 people that could easily um, replace you for this job. No, they may not all be dependable and whatever, but it doesn't fucking matter because 150 people that, you know, even if they only work 10 days, that's, that's still 1,500 days that they get off of those employees. So that's still plenty of time to find a good, decent employee out of the bunch. So, yeah, in this type of job, you're replaceable. Um, fucking hours suck. Everything about this, the job just, you know, it sucks ass. And my take on it also is, I know there's other positions that exist for graveyard shift and people just don't want to work graveyards. But if you're given the option of working a graveyard shift, you're going to look for the best graveyard shift possible and this just isn't one of them. I know that there may be harder jobs out there that suck, but at least you're going to be making some money. Um, there's graveyard shifts that 14 hours, 12 hours, I think minimum 10 hours, but you're going to be paid, you know, 10 to 12 dollars an hour, um, depending on what it is, maybe even up to 15 dollars an hour. Now there might be a little bit more commute involved and whatever, so more, you're basically going to be waking up, eating, and going to work is basically your schedule, but you're going to be making a shitload of a lot more money and you're going to be a lot happier than working at this shit type of job. You know, that this can apply for anything um, where you've seen mass hurting call type of jobs. You know, another thing that I think of is that there's high turnover with these type of jobs. Because the people in there, they just don't see value in staying there. There's opportunity costs to be paid. You're going to be staying there pretty much until you find a better job, and they know that. So they don't give a shit. And they'll pretty much hire anybody willing to do the job. It, it doesn't really matter. Another thing that pissed me off about the interview, and, and this pretty much goes for any interview, when you're just trying to get a job, is they'll ask you, why do you want to work here? What do you like about our company? And all these little other questions that really, I don't see the relevance if you're starting out as like a cashier or something like that. Um, basically a shit job, not these you know, I'm not putting down these jobs, I'm not going to say that they're completely useless or they have no value to society or whatever. But honestly, these, in my perspective, they're just jobs that don't really pay good, they don't have any benefits, and they have very, very little opportunity to do anything else with. Um, these type of jobs are more for people who are complacent, who don't really have any ambitions, um, and, or they have limited skill sets, you know. Um, there's some people who may be too lazy to, to work their way up and try to get a better job than that. They're satisfied, they're completely satisfied with earning minimum wage for the rest of their life. They don't give a shit. Then there's people who, they just don't have the skill sets. They want to go and advance. They want to be able to do things. Um, but they just aren't qualified to do those more advanced things because they just never, they either never got the education for it or they've never been given a chance, they've never gotten the training to be able to do that and so society fucked them over. You know, they wanted to accomplish something but they're never going to get the chance to do so. And also my opinion on it is, you know, a little judgmental here but the type of people I saw coming in, you know, some of them weren't even dressed up, some of them weren't short, some of them were basically like they were just hanging out there. Uh, I mean, some of them even look like crackheads, I'm not going to lie. And, you know, honestly, they qualify for the job. I'm not going to fucking bullshit here. They qualify for the job because it's not that hard of a job. It requires very little skills. So my thing is, any one of these people can be hired and it doesn't fucking matter. So that just pisses me off and tells me, you know, these type of jobs aren't, aren't worth it unless you really need something to survive off of. But that's my rant about it. 
I'm sure there's more to say, but I can't really think of anything. But if you guys have anything that you want to share or say, your experiences, you know, just leave it in the comment section. And thanks for watching.